If you decide to stay here for longer than 10 minutes, you can get heat stroke and your lungs can fill up with fluid. No, you are not on the edge of a volcano, but in the cave of the crystals in Mexico. The place resembles Superman's Fortress of Solitude. The cave was discovered in 2000. A mining company called Industrias Peñoles in the Mexican state of Chihuahua pumped water out of it. And two brothers, miners Juan and Pedro Sanchez, were amazed when their flashing lights caught the glow of giant crystals. No, not Swarovski, out of the darkness. But they were no less beautiful. It was selenite, a crystalline variety of gypsum. These were real columns you could walk on. Many crystals were 4 to 6 meters, 13.1 to 19.6 feet long, and the largest were 11 meters, 36 feet. They were about 1 meter, 3.2 feet thick. How did this amazing natural masterpiece form? The crystals grew for at least 500,000 years at a depth of 300 meters, 984 feet beneath the Sierra de Naica. Tectonic fault lines run through this area. About 26 million years ago, magma began to move through them, and eventually the mountain was formed. And the cave itself is a U-shaped cavity in the limestone under the mountain. For tens of thousands of years, it was filled with groundwater. It contained the mineral and hydrite. The magma beneath the cave kept the water hot but eventually its temperature dropped to just under 58 degrees Celsius, 136 degrees Fahrenheit, and the anhydrite began to break down in the new conditions, decomposing into calcium and sulfate. The particles began to slowly form a crystalline form of gypsum, otherwise known as selenite. The cave began to fill with selenite crystals. They stayed underwater and grew steadily. Of course, they didn't turn into giants overnight. For example, it takes 500,000 to 900,000 years for a crystal with a diameter of 1 meter, 3.2 feet, to grow. 